Alright guys, I'm back for another one. I'm gonna do two in a day. Two in one day on day, man. I'm gonna do uh, this one. This is uh, a beautiful label. Artwork done by you guys ought to recognize that. Uh, Josh Secor. So this one is another addition to the uh, uh, dual hop triple no dual grain triple hop um, experiment 2018 so this is first wort at one ounce of magnum uh, four ounces of comet at 10 eight ounces of comet at 160 degree whirlpool it's got four ounces of cashmere at high krausen and uh, four ounces of cashmere at uh, double dry hop so that's probably at like day seven ish or so um, so yeah this is the cashmere cashmere common hence the core on the front it's a nice core you got there all right I'm gonna pop it drink it all that stuff here we go nice hiss Carbonation streaming, a little bit of a head showing up there. Um, Color-wise, it's it's pretty similar to Lermo's beer. Um, there's some brown tint to it. It looks looks different in the in the video, but yeah, it's a little bit murky. Um, but there's no floaties or anything that I can see in it. But, yeah, doesn't matter. It's a beer. Go and drink it. Mmm, smells good. It's got a nice citrus kind of smell to it. I don't know anything about cashmere. Um, hot Comet, I've had before. I've never had a Comet Smash. Um, I can't say I've ever had cashmere if I have. It's got like a grapefruity smell to it. Yeah. It's got like an orange, maybe a tin, a little bit of pineapple. But the majority of it's kind of a grapefruit, not a real tart grapefruit smell to it. But it's definitely a ton of citrus on the nose. Like it. So the taste, it's got a little bit of earthiness to it. And I'll try to elaborate on the earthiness. Earthiness. Um, I think it's got, it's got some of that dry fruit flavor to it. It's not sweet. It's fairly dry. A little bit of plum, maybe. <clears throat> Josh... Josh uses propane. So does Lermo. Um, let's see who else. Nick and his cousin use propane. Let's see. So that's trying to go back in the Wayback Machine a couple of days. Lermo had a lot of dark fruit and he had molasses flavor. Just trying to correlate, you know, energy. You know, you burn or propane or electric. Um, Lou's electric. Nikhil's electric. Nate's gas. Hmm. The nose is really pleasant. I like it. I like the nose a lot. 
you jump into it and it's a little bit of plum a little bit of dark fruit but it's more it's got more of that kind of um, like mango leather you know the uh, dried mango um, the and the stuff that doesn't that doesn't have any kind of sugar added like the maybe some dried maybe some dried figs or dried you know it's just got like that whole dried fruit taste to it maybe a date kind of flavor to it no but it's good I have to do some research on uh, on Comet, but yeah, it's good. It's um, it's definitely a big beer. Let's see here. He does not have ABV listed on this, but I'm gonna say it's been pretty close. I'd say it's pretty close to eight percent. Josh is probably probably one of the better brewers out there. A lot better than me, anyway. But anyway, mine didn't attenuate that much. Mm, this is good. It's really good. Um, I don't know. There's something about it. I really want you to drink more of it to try to figure out what it is nose is nice a lot of citrus on the nose but it, the, the fruit flavor and the taste is not citrus so much um, you could say tropical fruit but it's it's more of that that kind of dried mango it's not sweet it's not it's kind of a um, I don't want to say bitter um, it's not bitter. It's not a bitter type of fruit. It's um, there's bitterness from the Magnum, and I can yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna quit talking. Pretty good, Josh. Pretty good. Um, nose is really good. Really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed that one. All right, guys. Um, I'll be back. I'll be back with another one at some point. Cheers.